Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. In this video, we are going to talk about very important topic in software testing which is called as what do you mean by STLC also called as Software Test Lifecycle. So let's get started. So STLC, it is a step by step procedure or a standard procedure to test any new software that is called as Software Test Lifecycle. It is a step by step procedure or a standard procedure to test any new software that is called as STLC. Now if you guys remember my SDLC video, software development lifecycle video, if you don't remember anything, link is there in the description, please check it out and please come to this video. So if you remember my SDLC video, so this STLC is a part of my SDLC my STLC is a part of SDLC and my defect tracking my defect tracking is a part of my STLC so my defect tracking lifecycle or bug lifecycle is a part of my software test lifecycle and my software test lifecycle is a part of software development lifecycle now the various stages in my software test lifecycle are requirement collection and then system study this is my first stage of my software test life cycle which is called a system study system study is nothing but when customer gives the requirement our company product manager will collect the requirement come to our company explain the requirement to our technical team that is both developer and test engineers making our technical team understand the requirement is nothing but system study it is a study of the requirement to make our technical team that is developers and test engineers making them thoroughly understand the requirement it is nothing but system study and now my second stage of my STLC is nothing but test plan test plan my test plan is nothing but all the future testing related activities it is nothing but how many test engineers are going to work on this particular release which test engineers is going to work on which particular module how many days my test engineers will take to complete this pro testing process for this particular release and which bug tracking tool which we are going to use for this particular release which automation tool we have to use for this particular release so these are all things will be the part of test plan it is a plan it is a document which covers all future testing related activities. Now the third stage of my STLC is called as write test cases. Under write test cases, we are having multiple stages which is called as system study again. Now what is the difference between this system study and this system study? This is the system study which will be done by the BA, business analyst or the project manager where he will give the complete knowledge of the product, complete requirement knowledge he will give to the both developer and test engineers. He will make all the technical team or all the people present in the company understand what is the requirement. Coming to this system study, this is nothing but it is a system study which will be done by individual test engineers. Suppose there are five test engineers and each are assigned with a particular module like A module is going to test by my this test engineer, B module is going to test by my this test engineers, C module is test by my this test engineers. So this system study is nothing but each and every individual test engineer whatever the module is assigned to that particular test engineer he will study or he will try to understand that particular module in detail that is called as this system study once after my system study is done we have to identify all possible scenarios so identify possible scenarios identify all possible scenario is nothing but whatever scenarios i have to test my application that scenarios we have to identify each and every individual test engineer will identify all possible scenario to test the particular module which is assigned to him in this the third stage is called as write test cases here they will write all test cases after writing test cases they will make it review they will get it review once after review is done we have to do fix review comments 
fix review comments once after fix review comments are done then we have we have to get the approval once after approval is done we have to store our test cases in test case repository tool so under right test cases these all are the stages now once after my test case part is done we have to write traceability matrix we have to prepare the traceability matrix the other names of traceability matrix are also called as requirement traceability matrix and also cross reference matrix now what exactly is my traceability matrix traceability matrix is a document which ensures that each and every requirement has got at least one test cases in it when we are having the list of requirement when we are having all the list of requirement we have to make sure that each and every requirement has got at least one test cases in it that is nothing but traceability matrix so we will see the requirement and we will see for each and every requirement there is a particular test cases there or not if any of the requirement has not got any particular test cases then we can go and mark that requirement and if other requirements have got at least one test cases in it we can unmark it so this is called as traceability matrix now there are three types of traceability matrix we have the first type of traceability matrix is called as forward traceability matrix which is also called as horizontal traceability matrix forward traceability matrix is nothing but here we ensure that each and every requirement has got at least one test cases in it or not forward traceability matrix is prepared before our test case execution so once after my test cases is done we will prepare the traceability matrix once after traceability matrix is prepared finally we are going to do the test case execution this is what happened in forward traceability matrix which is also called as horizontal traceability matrix while doing horizontal traceability matrix or forward traceability matrix here we ensure that are we building product right the second type of traceability matrix is called as backward traceability matrix or vertical traceability matrix in my backward traceability matrix here we ensure that here we map the test cases here we map the test cases to the requirement here we ensure that the scope of the requirement is not changing the scope of the development is not changing whatever the requirement was given by the customer same thing developer is implementing nothing is changed in backward traceability matrix we ensure all these things and backward traceability matrix is prepared once after test execution is done and most important here we ensure that are we building right product so the main thing which you need to remember is forward traceability matrix is prepared before my test case execution and backward traceability matrix is prepared after my test case execution and the third type of traceability matrix is called as bidirectional traceability matrix it is a combination of both forward traceability matrix and my backward traceability matrix so once after my traceability matrix is done as i told you once after my traceability matrix is done we will do test case execution we will do execution test case execution is nothing but you will be having a set of test cases with you and you will be having your application by looking into the test cases you will test the application and mark the test cases as pass or fail so that is nothing but test case execution once after my test execution is done the next stage of my stlc is called as defect tracking now what is defect tracking link is there in the description please check it out i have explained each and everything if the feature and functionality is not working according to the customer's requirement then qa or our testers will raise the defect which is nothing but defect tracking once after defect tracking is done the next stage of stlc is called as test case execution report this is a report which will be prepared by our test lead in which he will he will prepare the report telling that 
which test engineers were was involved in which particular uh, module testing and how many bugs we have found out how many test cases are in the past status how many test cases are failed what is the past test case percentage all the report you will get it in test case execution report and the final stage of my stlc is called as retrospective meeting post mortem meeting so retrospective meeting or post mortem meeting it is a meeting conducted by my test manager where he will invite all the test engineers who were involved in this particular release and he will mainly discuss what went well what didn't go well what are the mistakes we have done whatever the achievements we have achieved how we can improve the process these and all things he will discuss in the post mortem meeting so this is the various stages of stlc i have tried to explain in a very easy language if you have any question related to this video please ask me in the comment section if you want to reach to me out personally i have added my gmail in the link description please check it out if you think this video was useful to you guys please share this video with your needy friends like this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt